and uh, we got uh, we got somebody out the front window with a pair of binoculars and a uh, zoom lens. We're trying to get a pretty good idea on this thing. And we copy that. It's Houston, Atlanta. Go ahead. Terry, we're in the process of uh, taking pictures with the 400. We've got uh, several other pictures as well, but the best view we got was through the uh, binoculars. And um, the best way I can describe it is uh, there's some kind of um, reflective uh, cloth or um, with uh, some a metallic looking type of uh, of a structure that's uh, definitely not rigid or uh, it's not a, um, a you know solid metal structure. It also has a uh, ground, some type of grounding strap coming off of it, a, uh, a copper line, uh, what appears to be a grounding strap. It doesn't look like anything I've ever seen on the uh, outside of the shuttle, uh, that's for sure. Hey, copy, that helps, thanks. I don't know if you guys are still tracking it with the camera. We actually can't see it anymore, Brent. Okay, it started over uh, window 8, uh, then quickly uh, moved towards the nose of the orbiter. Um, and we tracked it through windows uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, now it's out sort of out window 5. It's moving away. The fo last focal length we had was uh, well over. And opening. Okay, copy that. This is Mission Control Houston with uh, Atlantis Commander Brent Jett talking with astronaut Terry Burtz here in Mission Control about an object the crew members noted outside the windows of the Spatial Atlantis. Uh, jet describing it as some kind of a reflective or metallic looking cloth, but definitely not a rigid or, or metal object. Seen uh, moving away from the space shuttle at least 100 feet, in his words. The crew also uh, took digital still photos that will be downlinked to Mish Control. This is Mish Control Houston now with a mission elapsed time of 10 days, 20 hours, and 21 minutes. This view of uh, the spatial Atlantis looking at the robotic uh, arm operations with the shuttle robotic arm attached to the orbiter boom sensor system to continue uh, inspections of Atlantis to ensure that it is in good shape for landing tomorrow. The uh, mission managers, engineers, and the flight control team have not uh, determined any areas of interest uh, for this uh, sensor or camera survey of the orbiter, just using the procedure that is in place and the time available to inspect all the critical surfaces of the space shuttle. The instrumentation communications officer here in Mission Control operating the payload bay cameras with the uh, reflections in the uh, camera lens as uh, it looks past uh, the spatial Atlantis. Uh, we do see that. Okay. That's uh, looking out in front of the orbiter. 
Okay, we're seeing three or four objects. Uh, can, you, can you confirm that it's just the one that's actually moving and the other ones are just reflect, reflections? No, there are, uh, there are three objects. The one you see, you see two rings right there. They're the ones we kind of had the late tally-ho on. Uh, the one uh, down the bottom, that was the one we initially saw that uh, appeared to be foil. So we've got like two rings and then the piece of foil. The piece of foil um, seems to be further in front with the, with the grounding strap on. It seems to be further in front of the other two, and the other two seem to be about the same uh, equidistant from uh, both us and the forward one. Copy that. actually commanding this payload bay camera to look at the objects observed out to uh, the flight deck windows. check on that, um, but while we're waiting for that, we're thinking based on our daylight and KU availability, if we can get back to the OBSS inspection and maybe use the uh, still cameras to photograph these objects. Yeah, we understand. Uh, we'll, we're getting back to OBSS. Thanks. Good morning and welcome to today's STS-115 mission status briefing. With us this morning are uh, Entry Flight Director Steve Stitch. Uh, also with us is STS-115 Lead Flight Director Paul Dye. Both these gentlemen just coming off console after a day of inspections. We'll go with statements first and then move on to questions. Steve? Uh, thank you very much, Kelly. Um, let's see. Uh, Talk a little bit about what we what we did today. Um, uh, today, of course, yesterday when we we talked, we were talking about landing, and uh, as you well know, we saw an object yesterday, and uh, mission management team met yesterday, and we spent the time. To